This week, we have a supersized episode packed with news on the 10 Star Wars series in development and production, Patty Jenkins taking off with Rogue Squadron, and much, much more. Goodbye, 2020. Hello, 2021. Sometimes your weekly Star Wars news show drops six hours ahead of really big Star Wars news. Last week, we got more great news about the future of Lucasfilm than we could have possibly imagined. Here's our rapid fire recap of all of the amazing announcements coming out of the Walt Disney Company's Investor Day. The Bad Batch assembled a sizzle reel with a phenomenal soundtrack. Diego Luna gave us a tour of the set of Andor, the prequel series following the Rogue One hero. We learned Hayden Christensen is reprising his role as Darth Vader in the upcoming Obi-Wan Kenobi Disney Plus series set 10 years after the duel on Mustafar in Star Wars Revenge of the Sith. This is not a drill! And Vader's former Padawan Ahsoka is getting a brand new limited run series written by Dave Filoni. That's right, The Mandalorian is launching not one, but two new series, Ahsoka as well as Rangers of the New Republic. Both will be executive produced by the powerhouse duo Filoni and Jon Favreau, and that's still not everything. Lando Calrissian is getting his own series developed by Justin Simeon. Leslie Headland is bringing the High Republic era to the screen with the Acolyte. We're boldly exploring the galaxy with a fresh take on Star Wars visions and a droid story. And while Taika Waititi continues to develop his feature-length project, we have learned that on the big screen, the next Star Wars feature film will be Rogue Squadron, directed by Patty Jenkins and arriving in theaters at Christmas 2023. That's a lot of news. And while we patiently wait for all of this thrilling Star Wars goodness, we've got plenty of other fun to look forward to. Star Wars Insider number 199 hit store shelves this Tuesday, marking the triumphant return of short fiction in the magazine with a new story by Charles Soule set within the High Republic. Readers will be introduced to Joss and Pika Adrian, project managers on the Starlight Beacon located in the Outer Rim. Find out what happens when you pick up Star Wars Insider issue number 199 out now. You know what every wall needs? A little Star Wars art. Earlier this week, the Star Wars Celebration 2020 art show exclusives went live on Dark Ink Art. More than 20 artists were brought together to provide a widely diverse collection of art with something for every Star Wars fan. Head to this link to get your hands on some of these exclusive pieces now. Who's ready for another Mando mystery? Last week, we got a look at this sleek and shiny image and with a snap and the power of zooming out, now we can see that it's the armor worn by a Hasbro Black Series archive Death Trooper figure. So we were right on the nose with that Imperial guess. Now this week's Mando mystery is... Hmm, now this is a hard one. Maybe it's a shiny metal slide that Mando put together for Grogu to play on. Or maybe it's an overhead view of an ice skating rink so Mando and Grogu can go have a nice father and son outing. Can you imagine those little ice skates? Be sure to check out StarWars.com on Monday to find out for sure. Just yesterday, a new Heroes Journey event hit Star Wars Galaxy of Heroes, and that means new update, new Mando. The Mandalorian has upgraded his old battered armor with shiny Beskar along with leading his scoundrel squad allies for a better cause. Use every tool at his disposal to defeat his enemies, like his trusty vibro knife or his vambrace loaded with whistling birds. But just like you and me, sometimes Mando needs a helping hand. Sweet little wavy hand belonging to the child. Unlock the Mandalorian on his Heroes Journey anytime you're ready, because this event is available permanently in the Journey Guide, which you can access when you download Star Wars Galaxy of Heroes from the Apple App Store and Google Play Store. Last week, we shared some news on the LEGO Star Wars Holiday Contest with Star Wars Force for Change first and the LEGO Group coming together to inspire you to reimagine LEGO bricks in a Star Wars Holiday-inspired builds. But I bet you want to know who's judging this awesome contest, don't you? Guest judges include the heart and soul of Rose Tico, Kelly Marie Tran, LEGO Star Wars Design Director Jens Kronvold, Frederickson, among others. For all the information on how to enter, head to StarWars.com and don't forget to get your submissions in by December 23rd. Last week, The Mandalorian gifted us Chapter 15, The Believer. The penultimate episode for Season 2 was incredibly powerful. Boba Fett wearing his freshly painted armor, Fennec and Cara Dune joined forces with Mando's old frenemy Mayfeld for a daring infiltration of an Imperial base. Poor Mando made some sacrifices, swapping out his Beskar armor for a secondhand bucket and ultimately revealing his face to show that he will do anything it takes to get the child back from Moff Gideon. Moff Gideon, you have been warned. Tune in tomorrow for what we can be sure will be a thrilling conclusion in Chapter 16, streaming only on Disney+.
This week in Star Wars history is the week when a lot of Star Wars history happens. First up, a quick skip back to 2015 when Star Wars The Force Awakens hit the big screen. Introducing us to Rey, Finn, BB-8, Poe, and Kylo Ren, the film also reunited us with old favorites including Leia Organa, Han Solo, and Chewbacca. Plus, who could forget this quotable Luke Skywalker quote? Anyway, then we jump to 2016 for the debut of Rogue One, A Star Wars Story, when we finally got all the intel on how the Rebels got their hands on those first Death Star plans. May the Force be with us. Then, in 2017, this week brought us the release of Star Wars The Last Jedi, the second chapter in the sequel trilogy which introduced us to Rose Tico and reunited Luke Skywalker with Jedi Master Yoda. <laughs> One more quick jump in time to 2019, which was just last year but feels like it might have been last decade, when we welcomed the epic conclusion to the Skywalker saga, the rise of Skywalker, and got introduced to Star Wars cutie Babu Frick. Yay! See? A lot to celebrate. Oh, Babu, we need a break. That's it for this year, but for more on these stories and other news from around the galaxy, check out StarWars.com. And be sure to join us right here for This Week in Star Wars when we return in January of 2021. Thanks for watching, have a happy holiday and a safe and healthy new year, and as always, may the Force be with you.